like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 19, we've got a word problem. So let's just go ahead and read it real quick and see what it's actually asking. It says, Joe invests $40,000, and at the same time, Tom invests $10,000. The value of Joe's investment decreases, goes down, by $4,000 per year, while the value of Tom's investment increases by $1,000 per year. Which of the following systems of equations could be used to find the number of years T that it will take for the values V on the two investments to be equal? So this is really asking you to set up what's called a system of equations. In other words, a list of two equations. And normally you would solve a system like that. Uh, this, in this particular problem, it's not actually asking for you to solve it, which is kind of nice. It's just asking for you to set it up. So if we're talking, about, let's start with Joe. Our good friend Joe starts with $40,000. So. If V represents the total value, we're going to write our equation as V equals the $40,000 that he starts with plus, uh, or actually it decreases by $4,000. So if it's decreasing by, whoa, that's too big. If it's de decreasing by $4,000 per year, we're going to not add, but subtract $4,000 for each year. Now, the way we represent the whole per each year thing is we multiply that by t, which in this case is representing the number of years. So this would be your equation for Joe, and then your equation for, who's the other guy? Tom? Yeah, Tom. So we got Joe and Tom. Um, and so Tom's equation says he starts with uh, $10,000 but his investment increases by $1,000 per year. So we're going to add $1,000 per year. So these are the two equations, and that's really all there is to it. We do not, they're not required to actually solve this system of equations. Uh, so we're just gonna look at our answer choices here and see if we can't find these equations. If, uh, it's not gonna be A, it looks like Okay, so for B, this first equation looks good. I don't know. No, it doesn't. This should be 4,000 right here. Uh, for C, we got 40,000 plus. Okay, so these, we got a mismatch here on the, uh, the increase or decrease. Uh, choice D, no. And choice E, yes. So our correct answer here is going to be choice E. That's it for number 18. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.